Well, hello, my beautiful darlings, and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, um, we're going to do some prep work because Fixmas is right around the corner. And we know how that goes. It's going to be huge, it's going to be grand, and it's going to be filled with uh, twinkly, snowy, snowman, canes. It's going to be good. But I love Christmas. So we are up, up high. And uh, I haven't done any prep work. I actually contained myself from doing that, even though I wanted to so bad. You have no idea. <laughs> I really wanted to. But I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Look, 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 look. I didn't. Nope. No, no prep work. None. Hey, Muffy. Um, we might interfere with your flight path just a tiny bit. And I do apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah. Oh. I think we might have to change our plans just a wee bit. Damn it. Or just let Muffy fly through the, the structure. Muffy can do that. Since I don't want Muffy to feel like we are impeding, I'm gonna put that there. So, this back here is gotta go. Since we don't want to interfere with um, Muffy's um, flight path, we're gonna take out these here. Tiny bit of scooching never hurt anybody. So. That's what we gotta do. Why? I don't wanna have Muffy crashing through my structure. And also, I would feel bad if Muffy had to um, face through everything. That sounds exhausting. Right? So. if you don't want to be deleted so now we have a fly well flying floating soaring crisscross in the sky which is fine Sabine, don't get stuck down there, buddy. So, if you place another foundation on top of your foundation, right, you press down control and you use your middle mouse button Mm-hmm. One turn, two turn. Okay. Hold down your control button. And see what happens. 
right? But since I want a tighter circle, so to speak, we are going one turn. There you go. That's one turn. So right here at the end, and you can do this on the ground too, by the way. But I figured for this application, up high was a better option. And instead of me just talking you guys through this, I'm just going to show you. So see that? Now we have the start of a circle. A circle. A sphere. Something round. How many synonyms can we come up with? Make sure you hit underneath where you put this, right? Underneath. And if you want to be even more efficient, right? So now we got this done. We take the other side. Other side, please. And yes, I know we missed one. But it's going to be fine, I promise. <coughs> so now we have something that looks like essentially, right? Which is all well and good. But now we need to fill in our propeller. We got that side done already. And we need to grab this side. And then this side. And bring it all into the center. So now this is what we are left with. And it kind of looks cool like this. And I'm kind of tempted to keep it like this. Kind of, but also not. You guys ever put something down and you're like, oh yeah, this is not bad. And considering, oh yeah, should I keep this like this? Do you guys ever do that? I'm going to take off the top layer. Boop. Beep, 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 boop. And we're going to take off the middle piece. Right? But see how nice a tight turn you can get. And don't worry about this. This is A-OK. -okay. And let's grab a new piece and spin one more time. And out we go to all sides. Oh, and I also forgot to mention something very important. Uh, the reason why we have essentially 11 foundations all in all but from the center piece that is our 11 piece so from the center is 10 out 10 out 10 out and 10 out <clears throat> and if we want to go even bigger of course you just double up Instead of 10, you go 20. So all in all, you will have 21 foundations. Right? That way you will get a nice circle. It's all about the math. I 
And I know a lot of satisfactory players keep, you know, saying that, but it's true. It's all about the math. And I can understand that it sounds frustrating and kind of annoying that it keeps being men mentioned. Yeah. I get that, but not bringing it up would also be unfair because there is going to be a lot of numbers that you need to keep in mind when deleting stuff. I should say when building. But also, any other building game that you might enjoy. Me, personally, I love Fallout 4. And anybody on my channel knows that. And even in a game such as Fallout 4, there's still math. We might even not think about it, but there is. And I know I mentioned it before in one of the prior episodes. That's why you hear a lot of satisfactory builders going one, two, three, four, one, two. That is a purpose because we are counting out where to put our belts. Okay, we got that, we got that. Great, now we get to delete. <laughs> Be gone, Foundation. You have served your purpose well. I'm up so high. <coughs> it doesn't really want to give me my pieces. Okay. I see. No, 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 no. There you go. That's it. And we're gonna do the same here. All the way in. Right. But see how it's starting to take shape? I know the couple of first times you try to do this, it gets very frustrating. And, uh, I totally get it. Trust me, my first couple of circles. Okay, not just a couple. I'm not kidding. But my first circular attempts, shall we say, they, they, mm, 
They weren't great. They really weren't. Mainly because I didn't think about the implication of uh, that there might be some math, math take that you have to consider. Okay, why are you not? But yeah, my first circles, they sucked. They really did. And then I got stubborn and was researching, watching other builders, seeing how they tackled the circle. <clears throat> because I got fed up with um, the squares. That everything became squares, right? And of course you can make a square look beautiful and intriguing and all of that wonderful jazz. I'm not denying that. <coughs> but for the sake of intrigue and being creative. It's nice having other shapes to work with. Then squares, you know? Triangles. Hexagons. So I say, I really wanted a circle. So yeah, I got stubborn. I tried to look at different ways how to achieve elusive sil circle, right? And right now, I know this looks bonkers. I totally and absolutely get that. Like I said, this is going to take a bit. Uh, we all got to be patient. <laughs> Somewhat, right? I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. But I also don't want to, I don't want to delete the wrong thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Careful now. Yep, thank you.
can really make it yours by just being patient with yourself and have a bit of fun. Figuring out, okay, how can I make this work? How can I get a nice structure the way I want it, so to speak? And, uh, yeah. Because like in the Fall of War community, I have noticed in the Satisfactory community as well, people are being very, very harsh on their own um, abilities to create something cool. Makes me kind of sad. Because sometimes we gotta make something that may, might look a bit uh, peculiar, a bit, uh, hello Muffy. Oh, I didn't move my, unless too late now, you, I, I hate to say it buddy, but you will have to face. Is it enough with one? So yeah, a lot of, oh, I could never, and how did you do that? And the, how did you do that question? That is fair enough, you know? That's totally, totally fair. But I could never, mm, not so much. Of course you can. It might just take a bit of, um, Patience and a bit of practice and uh, a bit of swearing and maybe some monster and a lot of coffee. Oh, that might just apply to me. Yeah. So, the short and long of it, don't beat yourself up, please. I'm going to beat myself up about this, though. <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? That was not right. Which is fine. It's totally and absolutely a-okay. Wasn't sitting right on my circle. I'll show you. And in we go. That one's fine. Bring that one in. Excuse you. There we go. And I don't mean to be all ranty, 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 but like I said, it, it just makes me a tiny bit upset. Let's 
a bit too far, that's fine. How about there then? But as you guys can see, trial and some errors. And it's fine. Absolutely perfectly fine. Underneath, there we go. We need an extra little boop. And here. No, no, there we go. Thank you. Trial, error, trial, error. And I promise you, your builds are not as bad as you think. I know I've been on this rant before, but here we go again. Almost there, peoples. Almost there. All right. Let's see. Does that look better? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And that away. How are we doing that way? This way we're good, but did we? Uh, uh, there you go, that's better. That's why I colored my centerpiece to help me out a bit and to help you guys out as well. It's a nice way to keep track on where you're at on your circle, so to speak. Because otherwise this gets very um, befuffling very quickly, I'm not going to lie. And say, oh yeah, it's super duper easy. Well, it's easy when you get the hang of it, but until you get the hang of it, it's not easy at all. Like a lot of things. Would you please say it correctly? Thank you. Oh, and another thing, the reason why I went with the concrete is to minimize C fighting, Z fighting, C fighting, Z fighting. <clears throat> that can happen when you're mashing pieces together, like we kind of are doing here to create a circle, right? We are mushing pieces together. And that creates some flickering, as you guys can see here. But if we were to use any other material, let's just say it gets uncomfortable for your eyes a bit. So.
Let's just quickly. Okay. Just making sure I didn't lose my center point because that would be super duper annoying. And also, we would have to redo everything. Just kidding, we're not gonna redo anything. Because like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're pretty close to showing you why we don't have to make it the ultimate circular perfection. Thank you, Mr. Ma, for going under. And you're only gonna face a tiny bit? Okay, that's cool. Uh, face by any time. Oh, there you are, your little sneaky bugger. see it's not perfect right and like I said it's totally fine I promise you it will be perfectly a-okay we actually need you to because I'm up too high well wouldn't that be a surprise not really not really Just filling in a tiny bit of gabby gaps. There's a center. Goody goody. Thank you. See, we are almost very, very much circular. Which is great. And then comes the fun bit. Don't get me wrong, making a circle is kind of fun, but also, like I said, frustrating. Especially the first couple of 300 times you do this. And I have seen some people here on YouTube. Um, I don't know how many circles they have made. But uh, they must have made a lot of circles. Because they made it look so bloody easy. And of course there's multiple ways you can make a circle. And I do recommend you guys looking it up right here on YouTube. Uh, one obvious choice to look up first. What's his name? DC something something. He made a very excellent uh, tutorial. circles utilizing catwalks and trust me that works great it really does but for our particular application not necessary and the reason why I know that is because I have tried multiple ways on how I can best make a circular anything. And if I do remember, I will leave a link, but I probably won't. And if I do forget, bear with me. I'm a squirrel. I get distracted. Mm -hmm. Just 
just checking my sides here. So we need to spin this a bit more. Let's see. That is fine too. And I managed to. Ah, would you look at that? What side we do have covered? Okay. How about no? How about this side? Yeah, we got that one too. We got that one. Okay. But like I said, there is m plenty of ways you can make a circle of anything. But if I do forget and you guys want to get some recommendations on circles, please remind me on my Discord. And it's not because I'm lazy and I just want you guys to go, oh hey, I want to know about circles. <clears throat> but generally I do get distracted. And I'm not gonna use my ADSD as an excuse. That is just a reality. Well, we're getting close to a point where we can actually start working. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Somewhere, de -de 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 -de. nope, just this, we just want this. No, I want to scare the other sides away now. It really. doesn't like me trying to delete stuff from up up high but if I weren't flying this would be not as easy to show you I have done this from the ground too so I know it's plausible tiny bit more tricky but it's very much possible
fine. Okay. Long side is fine. And it's just this side. Almost there, almost there. Mr. Muff, please don't scare me like that. Right. Would you guys look at that? We got a circle. Like I said, it's not perfect. And, uh, well, it's not. And I'm absolutely a okay by that. And with that. Let's get the leading, shall we? Again, I just want the raised bits for now. I just need the antennas. Just the antennas. Beauty, yes, da da da. Rid of that and that. Right. shaping up our circle a tiny bit <clears throat> not that we have to but I kind of want, wanted to so I have a very very dumb idea I'm not sure if it's going to work or not but uh I'm just gonna start shaving away here. Sometimes trying to do this is very nerve wracking because you don't want to delete too too much. But you also need to get what you need to get. I 
just need this. Hey, I missed the muff. So now we have two circular options, so to speak. Let's just pass that hole there. Like I said, I have a very dumb idea. This is what we have to work with now. Great. And I think you guys might be a tiny bit confused why I think this is great. <laughs> start making ourselves a square and we're gonna go over everything we'll fix the center very soon but right now squares Auto save. And we can do that. there and roughly there ish and we 
don't want to impede that. I know, right now this just looks very confusing, right? And I'm totally with you guys on that one, but as like I said, bear with me, I have a vision. <laughs> because this right here, that is our border, so to speak. putting the nice little square foundations that is where we can put walls doorways etc the central part here is gonna be an internal roundish walkway so right now we are just mapping out where we can get away with putting in a square Because that is gonna help us when putting down machines so yes right now it looks completely ridiculous absolutely freaking lutely I don't disagree there get that get that 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 and that Right, we can bring that to roughly there ish. And I don't want anything to um, clip. That's the word. And sometimes it helps giving yourself a um, outline when creating something and especially something that is not uh, I don't want to say traditional because that just sounds so wrong but you know This is our outline without the bep. Burp. And uh, let's see. Now we can take that, that. Right. And we can extend here. Just a wee bit. But yeah, this is our layout. And I know it looks completely insane at the moment. I'm not disagreeing there. But I think once we have some walls up and we bring this down, put our internal flooring and walls and etc this is gonna be great but yeah and just for realization's sake right just do that and yes I know there's an indent and I did that on purpose because I want a lot of pillars so right now we're just going solid walls 
because we can always later by pressing control we can exchange these walls for something a bit more nicer like um, windows or changing the material Again, why I weren't so worried that my circle weren't perfect perfect because with some indents that we have here and once we fill it in with some nice little beamy beams or pillars yeah it's gonna look fly AF and yes I could have spent more time on making my circle nicer absolutely not disagreeing there but then it would lose some of his charm so honestly I'd rather have something that might not look a-okay right now but uh, once we got this all glamorized so to speak right got this all doled up with some pillars and some paint even our friendly neighborhood moth is gonna be like oh yeah I do want to face through here this is great Again, by having those tiny pokey thingies, sticky up bits, we are gonna create some visual intrigue as well. Even though right now it's just gonna be gray upon more gray. But for a uh, decent base to work with, I don't mind the gray. But of course it's not gonna stay gray because well gray is kind of a Christmas color I guess but mm, mm, we need some more and also I don't want to have to cut any of the trees here so if we can create something that hugs some of these babies here that would be great and also, eight pine trees. What's more Christmas tea than a pine tree? Besides cookies. And uh, ooh, hot chocolate. Very bad looking Christmas sweaters. Mm. Funny Christmas socks. But yeah, that is our shell for now. And of course, we're gonna drag it all the way down because we're gonna have many many floors in here but for the inside walls and we're gonna exchange that for glass later Right. 
but that is gonna be our inside walls so to speak and we're gonna have doorways connecting to the different areas probably also some hyper tubes on the inside here and steppy steps all the steppy steps because we gotta be able to get uh, around up and down or we could be very silly and only allow jetpacks for traversal that would be kind of silly now I think hyper tubes and steppy steps and some jelly pads here and there Mainly because I'm a flying squirrel and I have a tendency to do, do um, some coming classy jumping. So, for squirrels and other flying creatures, the moth, right? I kind of feel like we need we need a little something. See, that might be a place to put a gate in or something. I don't know yet, but uh, this is uh, this is the vision and uh, the gaps we are gonna fill in with glass and what else? Well, it's gonna be circular. And here we're gonna connect steppy steps to the other floors. This might be the gate area, I'm not sure yet. Or should we put a giant gate here? We could put a giant gate here. So we're going to be fiddle fuddling around with this next time as well because this is fun. And then we need to get all of these babies here. Sort of tapped and brought over here. And get some smelters, constructors, bins, lots of bins. A couple of awesome things. Mainly because I can't remember what we did last year. Besides, I know this year is going to be the same as last year for Fixmas. Which I'm A-OK -okay with since I didn't get to complete it last year. Too many things going on. We could. That could be. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put my tools down. Last little wall, I promise. I'm gonna see if we can't get a um, triangular floor here. What if we do that? And then get a rope barrier, maybe? Well, I'm curious, okay? Or if we could, uh... see what you can do with the cat box in there right because I do kind of want a weird angle here that is a nice weird angle but not the angle I'm looking for worth a try though could get away with that, but also not really. But with a tiny bit of patience, which I don't have, we 
Şunu ver. That will give us options for sure. See that, guys? Uh, leave it. We all figure something out. But I also didn't want to make it too too easy for myself either. So that's on me. that maybe can't share I could work and then our doorway pillars a sneaky little catwalk to over here maybe yeah but this structure is gonna be a bit different and also I think it's gonna look pretty gosh that cool once we got everything in place in here <clears throat> because I want to keep this in here as a winter wonderland so most of this is going to be glass but as I said to visualize our circle so to speak and with pillars and different colors and some lighting because our factory factory area is gonna be up here since I don't want to disturb anything down here per se besides some snow but yeah that's that's all I'm putting hands down besides saving we need to save but yeah that's it and uh, don't forget like subscribe and have fun with building and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, did we save it? Yes. Thank you.